I just take it because it attacked the dog because it just seems to be against the animal, I think. The officer. Because you're not the first officer to see the dog. I lot see the dog, I never do say anything. Except this one. Mr Cheek was out walking his dog in Brixton when he was arrested for having a pit bull in a public place without a muzzle or on a lead. After nine months the case went to court, only to be dismissed due to insufficient evidence. It's really, the Crime Prosecution Service and the police haven't got their act together. They, they have six months in which to make a decision about uh, charging the owner and they use all of that six months and then they've taken another six months in which to get their evidence together and they've wasted that. So they came to court in August in Well Street with their case unprepared and their experts not attending the court. And quite rightly, a wonderful stipendary magistrate, Miss Jennings, said, you've had long enough, I won't give you another adjournment. Uh, this is not prosecution, this is persecution. Release the dog. But the end of the case wasn't the end of the matter for Mr Cheek or Brutus. The police refused to release the dog, claiming that as they considered it to be a pit bull, then they were entitled to keep the dog behind bars. And so they did. This brief encounter took place only to allow Mr Cheek to identify his pet. The owner was too distressed to talk. They were just deeply upset by the whole thing and we just want to get back to court as soon as possible, get the matter resolved so that they can have Brutus back. How confident are you in getting yourself back? We believe that Brutus is not a pit bull and it's not a danger. He has never bitten anybody, he's never been aggressive. He was the reason that we were not in there for so long was because he was getting upset because he saw his parents, you could say, and you know, he wanted to be with them, he was jumping up and down, he was excited and we felt it was best to leave him and, and and Mr. Chike in particular was, was deeply upset by the whole thing, so we just want him back with the family. Friends and family were there to support Mr. Cheek, including another owner whose dog is also being held under the Dangerous Dogs Act. My own dog has been Buster's friend that was taken away four months ago, and I'm still waiting to go to court, and it's just totally destroyed all of our lives. I've just been to the vet now with Ben, he's pining, he's ill. Um, I just hope that he lives to see the day that Buster comes back.